Since Cross Boundary was founded in 2015, we have observed the installed cost of solar PV in Africa to drop by over 40%. It's no wonder that the continent's leading businesses are all seeking ways to integrate solar into their operations. Solar developers use a combination of satellite and ground-based measurements to estimate how much electricity a plant can produce and how much you can save by switching to solar. But it's worth questioning how accurate these forecasting tools are. I experience owning and operating one of Africa's largest portfolios of CNDI solar projects has shown that the solar irradiation data available contains significant biases. If not accounted for in the design process, solar installation could experience up to 20% drop in the solar energy output, resulting in an equal drop in the client savings and a 1-2% to drop in project IRR for project investors. CBE now has systems in place to correct for these biases on a project-by-project -project basis. But what can be done to address this challenge on an industry level? Improving the quality of solar irradiation data in Africa requires collaboration from both data providers and solar installers. But there are few actions that CBE recommends that solar buyers take today in order to ensure that your solar purchase fully delivers on its environmental and economic expectations. For more details on this, and other topics, read Crossboundary Energy's latest white paper, which outlines the key drivers behind the solar forecasting challenge and what actions each of us in the African solar industry can take to address this problem today. If you're a solar provider, a data provider, or considering solar for your business, this paper is for you. Read it and join the conversation.